Oh, do solar panels ever get dirty quick? That's crazy. All right, gotta clean these things. It's cause they're sitting flat so water can sit on them a lot easier. So they collect dirt faster it seems, at least that's what I'm thinking. Plus we have our chimney, so I'm sure soot and stuff lands on it. So it looks like I'll have to clean these quite often. But I took the solar panel, I was connected to the grid tie down and I'm just gonna hook it up, add it to the system. So instead of 1500 watts, we're gonna have 700, 1750 watts. It's not like we're ever gonna produce even close to that. I'd be lucky if I produce over 1000 watts with these flat plus this one, if this gets direct sunlight, maybe I might get 1250 watts. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Okay, look at that. Almost a hundred wires stripped right here. 96 wires. And we are going to put another 12 cells into that bank. So we, we are doubling the size. We're going to go up. We're going to have a 5 kilowatt lithium battery bank by the, hopefully the end of tonight. I've had to go inside, get my uh, big USB power bank from my GoPro, which I am time lapsing. With. That's the Hero 4. I've got my speaker. I'm listening to music charging from the system, and I have this camera, which I'm filming with at the moment, charging right here. We are down to 63.7 volts. And this is my always running. I have this uh, Black and Decker, Decker Whipper Snipper that charges all the time. My laptop runs all the time. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to get back to it. We're going to get hooking these up. What I'm doing is I'm hooking six of these connectors up in parallel, and then the other six in parallel, and then the six, uh, the six of one set and the six of the other set are going to be in series together. So there's going to be six parallel packs of these, and then those will be in series to get me uh, the same setup I've got there, essentially. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. I got my 16S 6P cable hookup. 
So it's going to be each one of these are, have eight cells. So it's going to be 6P16S. We're doubling our capacity. We have a lot of power. Took me forever to do this. Oh, smoke so many wires. What is this? Uh, 192 wires here. Anyways, took a long time. Got it hooked up. I'll hook it up to some batteries and see what's going on. There's going to be gaps in the time lapse. Uh, the battery keeps going dead. I'm having a hard time keeping the batteries fully charged because I started with dead batteries. So I've been swapping them out, trying to keep them going. They sat for so long that they, they kind of self-discharged themselves. But anyways, let's get going. I'm very excited to get another BMS in here. Oh, BMS board. This one seems like a better quality. I'm hoping so. Not, th not that there's anything wrong with this one. There is nothing wrong with this one. This first one I got, this one's been working amazing. Ever, like, I've never had any cells go out of balance with this board. So, I hope these boards are as good or better. Okay. Let's get back to it. Well, all goes well. These six packs are now, they're all in parallel on the balancing wired side. So if there is any uh, voltage difference in between them, these small balance wires will be uh, the ones uh, fixing that issue. I'm just checking them to make sure they're not getting warm. There's a few that are a touch warm. I'm going to keep an eye on this for the next few seconds, or a few minutes. i got to feel them all. It's, I think it's just this pack here. This pack seems to be lower. I'm going to check that and uh, get back to you guys. Okay, I've now tested all my connections. All my connections are working just fine. No mess ups, no miss wiring. I did really good. Surprising on 192 wires, so awesome. But the problem is, is this pack is about 30 volts. This pack is 27 volts. So I got to, uh, I had started to charge these all up to 30 and I only made it about halfway. Um, these ones are in between somewhere in there. So I got to uh, remedy this. I got to f charge these or discharge these. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, and then now I can take this tape back off. I'm going to disconnect everything and hook it up to my BMS board and then we'll be set to go. Okay, on top of the, I believe it's 192 wires, you can add another, what is this, 17? Whatever that is, I believe it's another 17. Got them all connected. Oh, I'm getting tired. It's getting late, but I want to get this done tonight. Um, so, got to tape up all these connections, get them all uh, insulated. I might get these hooked up, I'm not sure. I might just get it all hooked up on the balance lead side. But we'll see. See how far I get. It's getting late, but and I gotta work tomorrow. 
and uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Thanks for watching. Guys, I haven't been filming or I haven't been uploading much because uh, my Alienware laptop quit working and I'm diagnosing the problems. I ordered some parts, but uh, yeah. So, I'll probably be a lot of footage by the time I can finally upload again. Taking the power apart and got my whiteboard up. I'm just organizing, getting things the way I want. This is where my power wall is going. Um, and then this side is all going to be for the solar, for the magnesion inverter and everything there. Uh, this side is going to be for uh, the power wall. And yeah, just lots of work. Like always, nothing comes uh, free. But I think it looks a lot better with this nice white background. Just got to get rid of the wires, got to get conduit. It's going to look real nice by the time I'm done. It's going to take a while, but we're getting there. This looks fairly organized. Um, this doesn't look too bad. It goes to the BMS for these batteries here. This looks like a bit of a mess. I still got some work to do up here. Uh, some cable management and whatnot. But it's, it's coming along. It's looking much better. And... Uh, this is the rest voltage of the gel batteries right now. I haven't charged them in a bit, but they're doing all right. I am starting to like these reliable inverters, even though I got a funky 3000 watt at first that actually turned out to be a 2000 watt. I still like this inverter. It, it does 2000 watts quite nicely. It works good. They gave me a refund to uh, bring it down to a 2000 watts price. So thank you for the company that did that. I, I do like it. Um, and this 60 volt inverter, 3000 watt, and this one is 3000 watt. I really like this one. Um, time will tell how long it'll last, but it's been doing extremely well so far. So we will see. I'll update you guys almost weekly on this. What happened was, <clears throat> I'm gonna spin you guys around. What happened was, my Alienware laptop, which is my main computer for all my editing and everything for my off-grid system, it died. Um, I think it's something to do with the motherboard because what happens is, I went through a, a few things. I tried reformatting, and then I replaced the hard drive. I test the RAM and nothing worked so I turned the laptop upside down I tapped it all over the place turned it right side up it's booted up properly it booted up no problem and it does that almost every time so I think it's it's a bad solder joint somewhere most likely because it does get hot and uh, so I might be buying a new laptop I'm going to see what I can do. I might take the motherboard completely off the laptop. And well, I'm charging my main bank with the Magnusine inverter. And I'm using this Re Reliable Powers 3000 watt inverter. The fan is just kicked in again. It's working really good. like it a lot. At this point point in time I would say this is a good inverter it has not proven itself yet so take that with a grain of salt I now have 5.54 kilowatts of power on this power wall and it is again a power wall I'm extremely excited I have these this pack and this pack Equalizing, I'm draining this pack and charging this pack. Get them to really close to the same voltage and then I'm going to combine them to so this BMS and that BMS are going to be together, working together in parallel. And uh, that's what I'm working for. But to do that, I'm taking this fully charged lithium ion setup, charging through my magnus inverter, which is a waste, but that's okay. I'm trying, like, I'm just dumping power into these batteries just to get 
to 59 volts, which these batteries are set at. So, almost there. I'm very close to setting up these two packs together. Okay, just shut off the charger on the Magnusign inverter. What a beast. This thing, I love this thing. Don't even have to test it out. It's just, it's such a good inverter. I love it. Good charger too. These, on the other hand, I need to test. They are working very, very good though. I, I'm really liking these so far. So far, recommended. I've only tested this for about uh, a week and I did have problems. So it, it's all in my videos. So for Chinese inverters, not bad. I give them a, a thumbs up so far. Okay, so we have these temporarily hooked up the way they are right now. We got this wire to this wire going to these charge controllers. I didn't have enough time tonight to hook them up. So they're still down there pr practically hanging from the wires, but oh, that's okay. That's it for tonight. This is 5.54 kilowatts of power, guys. That's what I got on the wall now. I'm gonna sit down, just so, show you guys an overview. overview. 5.5 kilowatts of power there. Another 40 or 50, uh, I'm not sure, because they rate these batteries at 10 amp hour, or 10 hour rate. So they're hard to to get the 20 hour rate out of, but I'm guessing an extra 30% or so for uh, for um, a 20 hour rate on these. So I'm guessing about 40 kilowatt hours here, plus another 5.5 there. So that 5.5 is all run off that inverter. The 40 here is run off that inverter and that inverter for now. I I may have other plans for this inverter in the future, but right now that's a backup. That's going to be the main eventually. Right now that's not being used. I don't want to bother using that. That's, that's a good inverter. This inverter I'm testing using. This inverter I'm testing, I'm using. And... Uh, that's what we're doing for now. I hope you guys enjoy these uh, videos. This is finally, I got my power wall. It's, it's kind of been a power wall the whole time, but this is now my legit power wall. Lithium power wall is right there. All of this. And then everything else here is my gel batteries. It's still kind of a power wall, but less of a power wall. Anyways, thanks for watching guys.